Let's look real quickly at proving that Jesus is God. Romans 1, verse 4, And declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. Friends, if Jesus isn't God, then he isn't our Savior. If Jesus is not God, he's not our Savior. In fact, the Jesus who died was our Savior, and this is important to the, to the Judeo-Christian faith. If we don't know for sure, if we don't know for sure that Jesus actually is God, then we have a problem, don't we? We have a problem because if he is not God, then he can't save us from our sins because only God can save us from our sins. The resurrection authenticates Jesus. It authenticates Jesus. It authenticates that the fact that he is God, that he is God in the flesh. Jesus foretold about his resurrection. He told his disciples in Matthew 16, 21, for that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again on the third day. As a matter of fact, if Jesus didn't raise on the third day but rose on the fifth day, then he wouldn't fulfill prophecy and he wouldn't, he wouldn't be God. When we look at when we look at what we believe to be true about God today, when we think about Easter, when we think about Passover, when we think about Christ coming back from the grave, you understand that this is, this is important to prove who Jesus was? Without this, we have nothing. If Jesus isn't God, then we have a problem. And that's why in the world you hear all of these, these, these nonsensical ideas like, well, Jesus was a good man. Problem, he wasn't just a good man, because if he was just a good man and not God, then he can't save us from our sin. We have a problem. Only God can save us from our sin. So when people say, well, there are many ways to go to heaven, problem, there can only be one way. There's only one God, to, right? There can't be two gods. If there were two gods, the bigger God would destroy the little God. So there can only be one God. There can't be two ways or three ways or a multitude of roads. There can only be one way. And he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that's it. It has to be Jesus and Jesus only. There aren't multiple ways. And, 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 it's, and it's sad to see Society going this way, to have all of these different ideas of salvation. Jesus spoke of his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Without the resurrection, it, does, it proves he wasn't God. Without the resurrection, without that, it proves that he wasn't God. Listen, friends, it wasn't the miracles he did. It wasn't the miracles that Jesus did Listen, there were other people that did miracles. In Acts chapter 5, Peter did miracles. He did so many miracles that, that people would, 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 would pass by hoping that his shadow would overshadow them and be healed. In Acts 19, the apostle Paul, I mean, he did so many miracles that he had these like handkerchiefs that healed people, like parts of his clothes that healed people. It wasn't the miracles. It was the resurrection. It was the miracle. Because Jesus, who is God, imparted on his disciples the ability to do miracles. Ultimately, to authenticate who he was. It was the resurrection that proves that he is God. There are some really important fundamental truths in the scripture. This is one of them. 